Arrival is directed by Denis Villeneuve, the director of Prisoners, Sicario, and Enemy. His films over the past few years have all been on my top 10 list, so I was obviously very excited for Arrival. And this film stars Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, and Forrest Whitaker, and is the story of aliens that have come down to Earth, they've landed in ships, no one knows what they want, so they send Amy Adams, a renowned linguist, to try to communicate with these aliens. Are they hostile? Are they peaceful? What did they want? Why are they here? And this movie was getting an absurd amount of buzz. All positive. It had like a 100% for a really long time. I actually saw this movie on Monday at a screening, and I waited this long to review it because I really needed to process it more. I felt it was going to be a mistake if I just jumped in front of the camera and gave you my immediate thoughts because the film really messes with your mind a lot, and when you get to the third act, it makes you rethink the rest of the movie, and I really needed to process this film think about it before I jumped in front of the camera, so that's why I waited this long to review it. First off, this is a gorgeously directed movie. If you've seen any of Denis' films, you expected that. The cinematography here is some of the best of the year, particularly the shot in which we first truly see the alien aircraft. It's this incredible, long take encompassing the entire area this thing has landed in. There's fog surrounding it. It's jaw-dropping. And he does such a good job of setting up tension in the first act with this character. You learn of her very tortured past, and as these things start to land around the world, you see news reports, and it's very reminiscent of Signs, another very good alien invasion film that you guys probably know I really like. There's that sense of panic and paranoia. You're wondering exactly what's happening here. Are they hostile? Are they peaceful? Is this going to be War of the Worlds or Close Encounters of the Third Kind? And that first act does set up a lot of tension. It it also sets up a great character in Amy Adams because this is one of the best performances I've seen from her. The entire film really rests on her shoulders and her bizarre, unconventional character progression. It's a very different way of telling a story once you understand the way certain things are going on in the background. And if you're paying attention from scene one, it's going to make sense to you. Now, I don't want to get into spoilers in this review. I think that people should go into this movie as blind as possible. The reason I wanted to think about it more, though, is because I wanted to tell if certain things really added up in my mind and if things made as much sense as I thought they did while I was watching the movie. Because at first, when I left this movie, there was part of me that felt a little disappointed. When a movie is still at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, when it has like 70-something reviews, you go in with mammoth expectations. If I were you, I would temper those expectations just ever so slightly, because you don't want to go into a film thinking you're going to get the experience of some heavenly aura of amazement when it might just be really good. When it comes to this movie, what I like the most about it are the visuals, the direction, the cinematography, Amy Adams' performance, and her interaction with these beings. Because the film's story in regards to communicating with aliens and using language to solve problems and not cause problems is a really good message. And it's also a story of international cooperation and how for once everyone just has to kind of settle their differences and work towards one goal. And I'm sure you knew this and I'm sure a lot of other critics have said this, but this is no Independence Day. This is not a big action film. This is more of a suspense drama centered around characterization using a more otherworldly circumstance to build that characterization, kind of like Signs did. You're not gonna see laser guns and big explosions in this movie. This is more centered on character. Is this movie the best alien invasion movie ever made? I would say it's definitely up there. It's one of the best, top five for sure. Is it the best movie of Denis' career? I would disagree with that. I would say that Prisoners and Sicario are both better than this film. I think those films are more well-paced. This film is very slow paced deliberately. It moves along at a snail's pace and for some viewers that's gonna be a humongous turnoff. For me personally, every frame in this movie is dripping with visual beauty. So if you appreciate things like that, it's gonna move faster for you and for me it did because it's just a gorgeous looking movie. One of my biggest gripes with Arrival is the character portrayed by Jeremy Renner. I find him rather useless. There's even a scene where he says he has no idea where they'd be without Amy Adams' character. He has one scene where he figures something out on his own without her help, but for the most part he's kind of in the background like, hey, yeah, I'm here. I'm, I'm in the Avengers. I'm Hawkeye. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm relevant to this movie. He just doesn't really add much to the film as a character. He's fine with his performance, but his character is rather bland and doesn't really have much to do in the film. Also, the entire marketing push of this movie is why are they here? It's on almost every poster. 
once you learn why they are here, it's sort of glossed over very quickly. It's just kind of thrown at you and you're meant to process it very fast and then suddenly ignore it. So that aspect of the movie disappointed me. It was more about Amy Adams' character and less about why these things are here. And I appreciate the overarching symbolism of what's going on. Trust me, I've thought about this movie a lot and I don't want to spoil it for anyone. That's why I'm not getting too into it. But in the end, aspects of the third act and the way things came to a story conclusion did feel a little rushed. Also, there are some characters in the movie who watch too much TV and make a poor decision. I don't want to spoil anything for you, but that felt so out of left field and the overall impact of what they did didn't last more than a few minutes and really didn't change anything in the movie. It just felt like a device to hopefully gain a little more suspense out of a few scenes and it didn't really build to anything so I wonder if it was even really necessary. All in all, Arrival is a beautifully shot movie with great performances. Forrest Whitaker also really good in the film. His accent's a little iffy. Amazing visuals, intriguing aliens, a third act that has a very very cool revelation that really made me think differently about the entire film. I loved that about this film, but the aspect of why the aliens are actually here on Earth wasn't really explored as well as I would have liked it to be. In the end, I would highly recommend seeing Arrival. It's sort of a mashup of Contact, Signs, and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and I like all three of those movies, so seeing them all smashed into one was definitely a fun time for me. I'm gonna give Arrival an A-. minus. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I'm gonna have a review for Shut In with Naomi Watts as well this weekend. And on Sunday, I'm ending my Harry Potter series with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part Two. Also, huge announcement, I have randomly decided to go to AFI Fest in Los Angeles. I'm gonna try to see Moana, La La Land, and Split. I really wanna see all three of those movies and hopefully get early reviews for all of them to you guys. That's gonna be next week, I hope. That should work out, I really hope it does. Don't quote me, I'm trying. I already booked my flight and everything. Hopefully I get into all those movies. You guys are the best. Thank you so much as always for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.